Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Back on the Johnny, chasing muskies and stripers with my new buddies, Weston and Andrew. Hey guys. Hey guys, how's it going? Great to be out here. Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate it. Awesome to have you out. Let's get Weston his first big fish. Woo! Remember, what you're looking for is that sound right there. It'll happen. Just a Even if it doesn't happen today, it'll yeah. happen eventually. Okay, guys, let's do a line check. Crank those lines in. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll put the anchor lock on. See if we got any weeds. <laughs> I got a little bit. See that though, guys? Look how the weeds are all around the, the weed guard and not on the lure. I got a decent down here. Yeah. The old die off is not done yet. Okay. Yeah, I got some. Okay. Woo, oh, you yeah. got a pile. There's a big mark, guys. Check that out. That is a big fish. Okay, boys, let's get these lines back out. Seems good. And Weston, you see, I'm gonna go to a tough shot as well, buddy. Okay, so there's yours. And Dad, where is yours? Right here. And good. same thing, 15, 16 15. feet. Yep. Now, okay, let me see these. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you some good lures right there. Okay, boys, another four hours punch musky fishing, no bites. What do you think about uh, next year? Can, can we get out again? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Dad, what do you think? Yeah, I'd love to come out. Thanks for having us, man. Always, always fun. It's always a pleasure to get you guys out. I think what, what we might do next year as well, Weston, is maybe get out for a chain pickerel or smallmouth bass fish. I think, folks, I'm going to head back out once I drop the boys off to chase the night bite, see if we can hook onto a striper or maybe even a muskie. Stay tuned. We're chasing stripers today, guys. We're down in Gagetown. Going to run one in the prop wash and a couple of tough shads off either side. Not sure if they're still around, but we're going to find out shortly. Got the rod holders at a 90 degree. Big lip on those tough shads will get them down deep, so going to let out about 55 and 60 feet. That way they're not going to get tangled around the prop wash. I am a little leery about running three rods out here. Water temperature is about 5 degrees cooler down here, sitting right around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. No luck trolling for the last hour. We did mark a few fish, not very many, a lot of small ones and the odd big ones. So get these down, let them soak. Going to try that for the next hour or so. We're in right around 20 feet of water right now. Just feather that down to the bottom. We're sitting on the bottom. Boy, that is cool on the hands. May get the old electric seat warmer going. Let's do a time check. It is right around 3.30. I think we'll move every 15 or 20 minutes. Sorry guys, we missed a bite. Had to repair a file, but we got a fish on. 
Yes, we do. Man, did he ever pull out that drag? Woo! Peel out about 50 yards of line. Barely got an out rod holder. There's a nice fish. If I could stop spitting all over myself. Oh, no, he's still there. I'd like to get that other line or that other bait up, but he's coming back for the boat. You don't want him around that. And sure as heck don't want him around the trolling motor. Get over here now. Don't want him tangled in that other line. Uh-oh, he's right here. Woo! He's right under the boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, guys. Got to try to keep him away from the motor. Oh, he's got my other bait, the bugger. Yeah, you can see that. Got a little bit of a dog's breakfast going on. We'll get him, though. Nice fish. He's not quite ready. Let's get him on the bump board. I'm gonna say he's gonna go maybe 36, 37. That's my estimate. Put water on that. Okay, guys, there we go. Woohoo! Check out that puppy. What a nice fish. Yeah, he's gonna go right around 36 inches. What a beautiful striper. Look at the purple hue to him. Almost looked like he just came out of the sea. Another healthy release. Boys, I couldn't be happier with that guy. Wish we would've had the bite though. Unfortunately, we were just preparing the file. Camera frigged up. Well, we got him in the net. Can't ask for any more. I think that's it. All set up for the night bite. As soon as she gets dark, we'll hit the lights and away we'll go. Probably give it an hour or so. Not sure if I'm gonna to continue to troll or if we're just gonna soak the bait. There's our bait right there in the cone. Just where she's supposed to be. I think we'll try one or two more spots down this way and then try closer to the bridge. Get in where the lights are shining. Chances are that's where the old plankton is and the bait fish and of course the big predators.
Is that a bite, guys? I just thought we had a bite right there. That might have been my imagination. <laughs> oh, got the blood hole pumping. That is a bite, guys. We're getting a little bite there, no question. I must be a little schooly, I'd say. See that? <laughs> that definitely is a fish. <laughs> I don't think I was imagining things. Guys, we just missed them. Jeez. You see that? Oh, that must have been another schoolie. Those big guys, they just inhale that bait. At least they're around, a little bit of excitement. I think we're going to call her a night. That's just got to be little schoolies chasing that and stealing the bait. Pretty happy to catch that one big striper. Like the other excitement. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Till next time, stay safe, friends.